Well, the drought monitor was updated today across the country and not really a surprise that now all of Western Mass is under abnormally dry conditions. This is due to just a significant lack of rainfall over the last two to three weeks. We've only had one day of measurable rain so far this entire month not counting today, which we actually got some good beneficial rain so far with most based on Doppler radar estimates anywhere between about a quarter of an inch to as much as a half an inch. We do have a little bit more rain on tap through the rest of the night, which could bring some totals up to near an inch, especially if we can get a few downpours. Pulling the view out a little bit, we have our current storm system with a cold front. Cold front tapping into a little bit of moisture from Helene. Uh, they have been dealing with significant rain and severe weather from the cold front since last night, but now moisture from Helene is also getting pulled in and leading to more flash flooding problems across the deep south, especially the mountains getting into the Carolinas, Western Virginia, Southern uh, West Virginia going to get hit pretty hard with this heavy rain as Helene continues moving north and they deal with the tropical moisture. Now the tropical moisture is not coming up our way. We have got this cold front tonight. It is very humid out there. Our scattered showers are completely separate from the tropical system. Our cold front comes through tonight slowly, but as it makes its way through, we'll have the last bit of showers through just past sunset uh, or a couple of hours past sunset. Uh, then we head into the overnight. There might be a stray shower early. After that, we'll have some partial clearing and developing patchy fog that will likely linger through tomorrow morning's commute. Now, Friday should be a dry day. We'll start off overcast and foggy in the morning. Starts getting a little bit brighter by the mid to late morning and then in the afternoon skies might go partly cloudy for a while. We should have some scattered high clouds around from Helene actually, and we'll continue to see more high clouds build in throughout the weekend as Helene makes its way north through parts of Georgia and into Tennessee and Kentucky. But that cloud cover, because it's so enormous of a storm should actually come up our way. We're just not going to deal with any wet weather from it. So tomorrow actually looking like a decent weather day for the afternoon, a little bit less humid temperatures seasonably warm with highs hitting middle seventies. Dew points are going to stay on the kind of muggy side as we go throughout the rest of the night. They will come down a little bit slightly more comfortable, but still a little bit muggy for tomorrow morning. We will get gradually less humid though as the day goes on, but we're still, you know, not too far away from it feeling muggy. Then over the weekend and into early next week will start to feel a little bit more like normal as we end the month and go into October. Saturday's temperatures are almost a question mark. It depends on the thickness of the cloud cover, but right now I would say low 70s is a safe bet with the potential for mid 70s if we can get some veiled sunshine. Sunday also low to mid 70s and even Monday is looking on the warm side. Then our next weather system is going to come in by the mid part of next week. Looks like another round of fronts. Tuesday, the first day of October is still looking dry, but then we'll have shower chances increasing Tuesday night through midday Wednesday. Once we get behind that system, System, it looks like a decent end to the week, but there are signs of chillier weather for the weekend. Chris and Abby.